sweet one. So this one is pretty sweet here because this one's actually really easy compared to the other one we just did. So looking at example two, we're going to use the following piecewise function to find A, B, and C. So first off, we're going to write the piecewise function down. So stop the video if you need to and write the piecewise functions down. Wise function down, and then also A, B, and C. So write it down and stop, and then we'll be able, we'll come back to it. Okay, so with this, the easy thing about this, or the best thing about this, is either you have it where x does not equal 3, or x equals 3. So either it doesn't equal 3, or it does. Doesn't, does, doesn't, does. So if it doesn't equal 3, then we use this, this equation here. If it does equal 3, we use this equation here. Easy, simple, not hard. Easy peasy, let me squeeze it. All right, so if we look at it, we're going to first talk about the x values for each one of these, so it makes it easier to know which equation to use. So again, here, step one for each one of these. We know for the first one, x equals what? Five. X equals what for the second one? B. Zero. And then X equals what for three? For um, C. Three. So again, these parts tell you what the X values are. Okay, so we said either the X is going to equal three, equal three, or will not equal three. So either will not equal three or is three. Not three, three. Not three, three. So, looking at 5, is that 3? No, it's not 3. So, for step 2, the equation that we choose is the first one. So, x squared, I believe it's minus 9. Yeah, x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. All right, step 3 is just to substitute that value in there. And some of you might be like, well, wait, 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 why did you use that one again? I'm so confused. Again, our x in the back here said either it will x equals 3 or it doesn't equal 3. Does 5 equal 3 at all? No, so we have to use the top one. That's, that's not equal 3. Right, so here we're substituting the values in, and hopefully nobody needs a calculator for this at all, because calculators are not needed and not that important. So we substitute it in, and the last thing is just go ahead and work it out. 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 So we know 5 squared is 25 minus 9, and we have 5 minus 3 here. So 25 minus 9 is 16. 5 minus 3 is 2. And let me move that down here so we can not get it in with the rest of it. And so the last thing is just the last part is 16 divided by 2 is 8. And that's our answer. Yay! F of 5 equals 8. Yay! Okay, so now let's go to number 2. That'll be. And again, it does not equal 3, so we use the same equation here because this is only the one that equals 3. So we use the same equation again because 0 does not equal 3. 0 does not equal 3. 0 does not equal 3. So here, do f of 0. And then we simplify everything down. Yay! So we should get negative 9 over negative 3, right? Because 0 minus 9 is just negative, minus negative 9, and 0 minus 3 is just negative 3, and so on and so forth. And so here, negative 9 divided by negative 3 is just positive 3. Yay. And then the last part, it says x equals 3. So that means we must use that second equation there. So f of x equals 6 is the equation. 
I say equals 3 right there, and that's when x equals 3. All right, so we're going to substitute the value in for it. Substitute 3 in there. Now is our answer 6, 6 or 18? Or is it 8 or 9? And again, if we go back to the first practice that we had, we said if there's no x over here on this side, we can't do anything with it. We can't simplify it down. So all we do is just keep it just like that. So our fourth step, fourth and final step, is just the same thing, because we can't simplify anything down. Because there's no x value over here with the 6, so you can't do 3 times 6, because there's no x value to multiply. The answer is just 6. So don't do too much work there, because if we do, then you'll be wasting your time. And then get it all wrong. And stop doing that. We don't need you to do that. Right, so here are the answers again. Hope everybody got those and understands those. Because we're getting ready to go to another practice. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes excellence. Practice makes excellence.